Hi, I'm Valentina V and welcome to my Premiere Pro Jumpstart course. Things to know before we get started to play and pause a video, I press the space bar. To zoom into the timeline and out of the timeline, I'm not necessarily always going down at the bottom. I am also using Alt and scrolling on my mouse to go in and out. And to scroll side to side, I actually have a side scroll wheel on my mouse. But if you don't have one of those, you can always just grab this bottom bar and pull it right to left. This is how I would typically organize one of my hard drives. What I do is I'll organize it by the date. So it is the year, the month, the day, and then underscore what it is. So if we go to the food show folder, you'll see I have it categorized by footage, audio, graphics, music, photos, documents, premiere, Adobe After Effects, and exports. Now, I don't use all of these for every single project that I do. In fact, you can see here, for example, photos, this is empty. Uh, documents, this is empty. What I do every time I start a new project is I have this uh, new name kind of placement template project template folder and inside of there are those template folders so every time i start a new project i'll just copy paste these template folders into a new main folder the footage folder has camera a camera b camera c and if you open up each of these what you'll see is some clips and they are uh, named after the videos that we will be making. So you can see here we have several files that are egg cooker files, and then we have a few tuna salad files. And you can see that each of them has underscore A written on it, which means this is the A camera. I renamed all these files using Adobe Bridge, which I have a tutorial on at the Adobe Care YouTube channel, Tips and Tricks Tuesdays, if you wanna check it out. Then here in audio, uh, we have H4N, that is the audio recorder that I was using. We have music, sound effects, which I have a couple bloops and swooshes from Sound Bible, and then voiceover, I don't have anything for voiceover. Now that we're back in Premiere Pro, let's go ahead and say new project. And the first thing it's gonna ask you is, where do you wanna put this project folder? And what do you wanna name your project? So we will name it, let's name it um, Valentina Food Show. And then the location, now for every single project, I make a new Premiere Pro folder. So in this case, if we go to Food Show, you see how before we had footage, audio graphics, yada yada, it's the Premiere folder, and that is what we are selecting, right? And then we press Select Folder. So our new project and all of the assets that Premiere Pro generates, like the preview files, um, the cached files, they're all going to go in there. Don't worry about what any of that is. All you have to do is check over here under scratch disks and make sure that everything is set to same as project. And then click OK. Now this is your source. That is where all of your clips will be played. And this is where you can preview your clips before putting them onto your timeline. This is your program monitor. That is where you will be able to see what your working project looks like. This is your project window over here. That is where you can put all of your clips and all of your assets and organize everything. And this right here is your timeline. That is where you're going to be building your project. Over here, you have your toolbar, which I use quite a lot, but I actually use shortcuts, so I don't have to go over here and click the tools. You also have your volume or decibel scale right here, and it is going to help you determine how loud your video is. I tend to not trust my own ears because maybe my headphones or my computer's too loud or too quiet. So I like to just make sure that my video never peaks, never goes into the red areas, is always kind of staying around negative 12 on this scale. You can either double click in the project window and that pulls up 
uh, the dialogue and you can just select things and import them. You can also do this by going to file import, but my favorite way of doing this, since I've already organized them into folders, is I'm going to drag and drop them from my file navigator. So I'll go here to food show, footage, and I will drag this entire footage folder over into my project window. So I'll go into new bin and I'll say 03 sequences. If I put numbers in front of them, I can keep them in whatever order I want. And I'll do another one 04 for graphics. Now each of these windows can actually be expanded full screen if you select it, that draws a blue border around the edges. You can see there's that blue border. And then you press the tilde key on your keyboard, which is the squiggly line at the top left. That makes this panel bigger. So you can press it and it goes big. Now there's lots of different ways that you can view your clips. You can view them in a list like this. This is called list view. You can view them as thumbnails. So if you go down here, these are all the different views you can have. You can see them as thumbnails. So now if I click into each one, the thumbnails populate and I can use this slider down here to make the thumbnails bigger if I want, or smaller. If I want to preview what's inside of the clip, I can just hover my mouse over it to preview what is in that clip. Or I can use this time indicator and drag it. Also, if you noticed, there is a third way to look at your clips, which is the freeform view. It's actually a pretty new feature in Premiere. And this kind of lets you organize your clips as if they were sticky notes all over a tabletop. So you can organize them in different ways like that. So if I go to the freeform view, now they kind of start looking like they're a thumbnail view, but let's say I know that these files are tuna salad files, right? And I know that these files right here are egg cooker files. So if I wanted to put all the tuna salad files together, I could do something like that. And then the egg cooker files can be over here. And then say there were a couple that um, maybe were doubles. I could put them like this. And I can make this one bigger if I wanted to by going to clip size and I can make it extra large. Let's say that that's the lead one, right? And everything else follows it. So really think about the freeform view as you can organize this any way you want. Um, this is really helpful for music videos, for documentaries, for everything that's sort of like non-linear and it's a nice way to organize. I really like it. I hope that you have the best day and the best learning experience with Premiere Pro. Feel free to ask me any questions on social media.